Hi there guys and welcome to this, the video element of the Tantrum Kite Surf Show. Now here, today we're going to be talking about twin tip boards. It's quite a quick video of this, but again, this is designed as the accompaniment to the podcast. If you haven't listened to the podcast, the link, again, if you're watching on YouTube, should be appearing somewhere around here, just about now. If you're watching on Facebook or anything else, the link should be in the show notes down below or in the post. Um, have a click on that. Go over and listen to the podcast and then come back and watch this. It will just make an awful lot more sense. Again, as always, in the podcast, we talk about the much more general idea. And here I'm just going to explain a few of the specifics, which maybe we couldn't explain that well on the podcast because it needs a more visual element. OK, so first thing we talked about on the podcast was this idea of the wetted area. Now, what are we talking about there? Well, we're talking about the area of the board, which is actually in the water and again if you imagine this is a twin tip and you're looking up underneath it so you've got your fins here the area of the board that might actually be in the water at any one time is that part there so that's what's called your wetted area so again as you can see when we were talking about board, a door and rugby ball shaped boards for example on a rugby shaped like board, that whole part is missing. Let's use a different colour there. That whole part there is missing. So you don't have that part of the wetted area. So when it comes to total surface area that's actually providing buoyancy on a rugby style, rugby shape, rugby style shaped board, it's a little bit different. You've got a lot less straight away. So when you come to release the edge, it releases much easier, but it drives up wind in a straight line much more, much less easily. Okay. Likewise, when we talked about the way that the water releases off the back of a board, on a door board, the water releases off in a straight line. So what that means is that the opposite action is you riding forward, the board pushes forward, so the whole board wants to go in a straight line. With a rugby shape, and this is obviously an extreme example, with a rugby shaped board, the water is releasing off it in that direction. So the opposite reaction is there. So the board is wanting to turn all the time. So it's much more difficult to ride it in a straight line. Indeed, we even talked about using a circle board and imagine there, you know, the water is releasing off it almost 90 degrees to intended direction of travel. So the board's just spinning all the time and I mean you can probably imagine trying to ride a board like that is just going to be a nightmare it's just not going to work be very interesting but it's not going to want to go in a straight line at all so that's it for today real real simple one there guys hope that explains the concepts I always end up doing a second one of these because people are asking very clever questions that I've ignored or forgotten about in the first one so if you do have any questions please bang them in the comments get back to me at sam, and tantrum, sam at tantrumkitesurf.com and I will put together a follow-on podcast or a follow-on video to explain those concepts that I've definitely missed. <laughs> right. We will see you very soon. If you haven't checked out the podcast, go check out the podcast. I say this is a very short video. doesn't make much sense on its own. only really makes sense when listened to, when watched in conjunction with the podcast. I say the video, the, the link should be appearing somewhere on the screen around about now. So go and check that out. Um, and we'll speak to you very soon, guys. Have a good day.